Well, history is happening today in Manhattan as the first former U.S. president will be arraigned in criminal court. Donald Trump is expected to plead not guilty at the proceedings this afternoon. And there's a new judge ruling on whether the public will get a glimpse inside the courtroom. PIX 11's Anthony DiLorenzo is live in lower Manhattan with just what we can expect today. Anthony, good morning. Craig and Aaron, good morning. The judge has ruled there will not be any broadcasting of this arraignment inside the 15th floor here of criminal court. However, he is allowing a handful of still cameras to capture history being made right before they begin, and then everyone will have to clear out for that arraignment to begin. Uh, cameras, however, did get a brief glimpse of the former president looking stoic and serious as he arrived home at Trump Tower yesterday afternoon. His plane touching down at LaGuardia Airport around 3.30, preparing to surrender now today to authorities on business fraud-related charges. He's reportedly facing 34 separate counts on the matter relating to a six-figure payment to a porn star to hide an alleged affair. Trump says that never happened, but his legal team does acknowledge payments were made in 2016, albeit perfectly legal. At the arraignment this afternoon, Trump will be escorted in by Secret Service, and there's new reporting that he may not have to take a mugshot, and as we've reported, he will not be wearing handcuffs. Meanwhile, security is already tight as supporters and protesters are expected to be here every step of the way. We're trying to uh, bring attention uh, to what we view as a uh, massive overstep and overreach of District Attorney Alvin Bragg's uh, prosecutorial powers. I think that he's, you know, spent a, a lifetime of trying to skirt the law and avoid the law. And uh, I don't know whether he's guilty or he's innocent in this matter. That uh, a jury will decide. So the arraignment is now set for 2.15 this afternoon here at Criminal Court on Center Street. Following that, the district attorney, Alvin Bragg, will hold a press conference and answer questions about the case he's built and come under fire for from the right. Then Donald Trump will depart New York City, head back home to Florida, where he too plans on speaking out. That's the latest live now from Criminal Court in Lower Manhattan. I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News. All right, Anthony, thank you. The Manhattan hush money case is one of several legal challenges the former president faces. Yeah, there are multiple state and federal inquiries into Mr. Trump and his business. Special counsel Jack Smith is investigating Trump's handling of classified documents recovered from his Florida residence two years ago after he left office. Now, Smith is also overseeing a grand jury looking into Trump's role in the general January 6th attack on the Capitol. Also, a district attorney in Georgia is investigating his efforts to overturn the 2020 election results in that state. The former president also facing civil cases in New York, including a defamation trial linked to a rape accusation slated to start later this month. Also, a uh, business fraud trial, which is set for October.